Hi, I'm Isabella Ramirez, and I'm with Zoe Jones. And today we're going to be interviewing our volleyball coach. Coach Tina Niven. (laughs) Okay, so the first thing that we want to ask you about is what do you think makes the best teammate? Wow, what do I think makes the best teammate? I think that, you know, you've got to have trust to begin with. Um, I think that when you establish true relationships and you really trust each other, you don't have to be best buddies off the court and stuff. It's it's more of the chemistry that's on the court. Uh, the people that make the best teammates are the ones who put their teammates before them in everything. Uh, they are they take that servant's heart mentality where you know that they're last. They they put everybody ahead of themselves and look out for everybody else. And if everybody on the team is kind of has that servant's heart then and everybody's looking out for everybody else it really creates a strong bond do you think that we have good teammates this year like we have a good team of teammates i do i do you know looking around i I see uh you know different people that have a different role and you know but they're all cheering each other on uh you know they'll go and you know, you don't find necessarily just a little group here, a little group there. I tend to see everybody uh, conversing with one another and, like I said, encouraging one another. And, and so far it's been fun. It's a really fun group. Uh, you guys are great. And um, I, I've enjoyed, you know, some of your shenanigans and other things. Uh, but I, I enjoy the fact of how much heart and passion you guys have for the game. Um, the fact that you, you want to work and, you know, I don't have to beg you to come to practice. I almost have to beg you to give me a day <laughs> off every once in a while. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I like that, that passion and stuff. And you guys carry that over to your teammates. And I, I think it uh, makes for a great team. Back to this year's season, how do you think we're going to do? Well, I've told you guys before, we have a lot of potential, but potential is a dirty word uh, in sports. Um, You know, living up to that potential. I I think, you know, we're very young, uh, but we have good leadership uh, in our seniors. And I I think that as long as we get better every day we go out there and as long as everybody knows what their role is, um, the good thing is, is that we have so much talent on the floor that it is competing every day when we go to practice. There's not just one lineup, and this is the only lineup that we can do. Everybody has got to fight hard for their position, and and so far that that has happened. But it's done so. You know, when competing for a spot, it's like we don't have people like sulking on the side. They still push each other uh the whole time and so that that's really you know not being jealous um you know just taking it as a challenge of hey i want to beat this person out for this spot that's that's what sports are about and it's varsity sports and but you've got to do it in a a kind and loving and christian-like way and uh that's all i'm looking for i want us to compete against each other so that you know, on whichever day it is, I've got the six best players on the court at one time. Okay. And then I want to know what your favorite part about being a coach is. My favorite part about being a coach is building the relationships that I have with my teammates um, or my my players, I should say. But, you know, I, you know, ever since I was in ninth grade, I've been on a team. And whether I've been a player or whether I've been a coach, and that, that's my favorite part. It's just being part of a, of a team. And and sometimes there are teams that I have had players that I truly dearly love, but as a group they just got on my nerves. <laughs> and I've had other groups that you know I, I truly love them as players, and they were great. It just they weren't the most talented, but they made it fun for the season. Uh, I think as I get older. Uh, definitely wins and losses is, is not important because nobody's going to remember in the long run. You know, 30 years from now, if I meet one of you guys in Walmart, you're not going to go, oh, yeah, we were 20 and 5 uh, my sophomore season and we were 13 and, you know, 6 my junior season. You're not going to remember any of that. You're going to remember the times that we spent together. You're going to remember the relationships that we built. And so that, that's the thing that I really hang on to is, is the building the relationships. And I, I think it's fun to watch you guys come in as freshmen 
And then, you know, I get to see you graduate. But then, like I said, I get to see you, you know, 10 years or 20 years later in Walmart. And we get to act like, you know, it was just the other day that you were playing for me. So, uh, so that's the most fun part is building the relationships. What or who made you want to become a coach for higher, like high school? I had really good coaches in, in high school, and um, I was very shy, um, I, although I went to private school from kindergarten through fifth grade, and then I came to Montevallo Middle School in the sixth grade, and, and they had uh, volleyball and basketball, I believe, for seventh and eighth grade, but I was so shy, I didn't try out. Um, I'd never played organized sports. I played sports in my neighborhood, uh, but no organized sports, and Coach Richard Gillum, my ninth grade year in PE, he was my PE teacher, he said, he saw me playing basketball and he said, I want you to come try out for basketball, uh, my basketball team. And I was just like, okay. And we had kind of built that relationship and I, I made the varsity squad. And um, at that time they had varsity and JV. And like I said, I'd never played before. And so, um, I just fell in love. I was already in love with sports. I would watch my dad play sports all the time, especially baseball, and uh, and loved it. And so, uh, for me getting to finally compete, um, that I, I was all in. I played everything. I did volleyball. I did track and field. I did softball when it finally came along my senior year. Um, uh, like I said, I just I just love sports. But the thing I liked best about sports was actually being on a team, being a being a, having teammates uh, meant a lot to me. Yeah, that's something that you do make sure that we know like a hundred percent. Like it's your team first. Oh yeah, I mean, because you know, like I said, even today, you know, I have my high school teammates that, you know, they see me and they're just like, hey, we're so proud of you and <laughs> what you're doing at the high school. And I'm like, I'm not really doing anything. It's my kids, you know. And they're like, yeah, yeah, but, you know, we're we're proud of you. And it's just, it's still fun to see them. And like I said, you guys know from my college teammates, you know, I love and, and still very close to to all of them. So yeah, being on the team is 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 great. Okay, and then one more thing, kind of about your coaching. This one's a more like lighthearted, but. Out of all the years you've coached, which team has been your favorite? Like, what year? Ooh. I don't know that I could necessarily pinpoint a, a definite favorite. My favorites have been the the kind of teams, kind of like that you guys are, that uh, you all get along. Uh, there's not a ton of drama that goes on. You know, you guys are out there, you're, you're working hard, and then, you know, you're just fun to be around once – once we've taken care of business and we've, you know, done the last drill at practice, you know, you guys are goofballs and, um, you know, make us laugh. And, you know, that's – that's those are my favorite teams uh, right there, the ones who do whatever I ask them to do. They work as hard as they possibly can work. And then, like I said, once everything is done, they're also, like I said, just a bunch of goofballs and uh, make us laugh and keep us entertained and – and, and, and just try to build relationship with our coaches, too. You know, it, it's not a one-way street. Uh, you want your players to, to be able to feel like they can come to you at any time and you guys can sit around and just have a, just a normal conversation. Yeah. So some of us want to know how many years you've been coaching and where have you coached? Well, I think this is my 30th year coaching. Um, I coached. Um, if we're talking about just like high school sports, I did some city league stuff like volunteering when I was in college and at the end of high school. But um, I taught two years at Shelby Academy and coached basketball and softball there. Went to Jemison for five years where I coached basketball and softball and helped with volleyball there. And then I am starting my 23rd year at Montevallo and where I have done volleyball, girls basketball, softball boy soccer so uh i didn't know you coached soccer i did <laughs> hey i even coached uh, jv football here one year at uh at Montevallo high school and was even the head coach of one game got to call the plays and all that kind of stuff so that was pretty cool <laughs> i did not know that yeah okay and then another lighthearted question on this year's team who is your favorite player 
Oh, you can't put me on a spot like that. I really don't have a, I don't really don't have a favorite. I mean, I, I, I you know, I like the whole, you know, the whole group. Um, you know, if, if if you ask me, like maybe like in the past, you know, my like I said, my favorite players are the players who just they trust me and they give me everything that they have, and they're great team players, and. I, those are some of my favorites you know you, you talk about um like coach goldberg who's coaching our jv team you know i almost cut her, her senior year uh wasn't the most talented but just had the passion and the heart uh for the sport and now she's up and she's leading um you know our jv team so you know she's definitely uh is the kind of person that would be one of my one of my favorites but y'all not gonna call me out maybe you pick a favorite from this year the year's not over yet so uh who may be my favorite now may not be my favorite by the end so no i don't have any favorites but i i I love you all oh and that's sweet yes your parents tell you that but actually they have a favorite yeah nah And then just one more question. So earlier you mentioned, like, your relationship with your teammates from college. How Mm -hmm. would you describe that, like, a little bit more in depth? Wow. Well, especially in college because, we, you know, we lived with each other and we had to rely on each other for, you know, basically 24 hours a day. Uh, Most of my teammates lived out of state. Um, But, like, for example, my, my phone has been going off like every five minutes uh, because a couple of my teammates live in Tampa and, you know, the hurricane is going through there. And so, you know, we're constantly, you know, checking on each other and, you know, and if if right now they said, hey, we're in trouble, we, we need somebody, I guarantee you we're all flying as close as we can or driving down there. We're just there for each other. There's a group of about five or six of us that – uh, get together every summer still, and we've been there for deaths of our parents. Uh, you know, we've been there for sicknesses. Um, you know, those are the kind of teammates that, like I said, no matter what, I could call right now and say, hey, I need you in Montevallo, Alabama. And they would fly in from Oklahoma, Colorado, South Carolina, Florida, everywhere to, to be here. And, you know, and that's what I want for my players is to, to build that kind of relationship with their teammates where they can they can count on them and they know that they're not going to let them down, um, that they're going to be there for them in the hardest moments and, and build them up when they need it. Okay. I think that's all we have for today, but thank you for coming and talking to us. Yes. Well, thank you. I love to talk. So uh, <laughs> this is fun. I think I could do this for a living. We'll bring you back at the end of the season and see yes. who your favorite player is. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe I, maybe I have one by then. Okay. I doubt it, but. <laughs> yeah. I think you will. <laughs>